Hi everybody, this is Jean-Charles Compagnon with the Kiwi. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the upload editing, uh, which basically lets you upload and download a flat file that you can use to then upload uh, to modify your costs, your minimum price, your maximum price, and some other information. Uh, you'll note here that cost needs to be capital C and then OST lowercase. Price min needs to be price lowercase and then capital M I N. This information changes all the time or quite often. So what I'm showing you in this video is how to basically download the file and figure out what those fields are. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click here on download my file which will download a file file, a CSV file that will open in Excel. So got my file here open. And you can see that we have user IDs, Q, title, ASIN, cost, price minimum, price maximum. Those are the fields that you can use. The two that are required are user ID and SKU, and this will not change. So now you have a file. Um, let's say this file here that we got from a, a customer um, that shows their inventory on um, Inventory Lab. They uh, downloaded the SKU and their cost. So we're going to make this file compatible with our system so that you can upload it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to insert a column here. And we're going to put our user ID right here. In this case, my user ID is 13. Your user ID will be something different. And we're going to highlight this here and double click on the corner, which copies it all the way down. So now we have our user ID filled up. SKU here, the seller SKU, we can see that in this case, we use capital S and lowercase KU. So I'm simply going to replace that. And then the price per unit, if I go a little bit on the side, is our cost. So in this case, I will put cost. And there you go. We have the, our file here that we're going to save, and that's ready to be uploaded. So if we go back into our application here, we can simply click Browse. Select our file, and then click Process to upload it and process it. We could simply choose to update missing inventory only or missing data, not inventory data, or we could force an overwrite. Something that's interesting to note is that if you have zeros here, we will avoid, we will ignore them, not avoid them, ignore them. So let's look at another file from somebody that exported their data from App Eagle. You can see that App Eagle's file is a little bit more complicated, but really it's very similar to, to what we need. Um, we can see that inventory, live inventory, item ID, memo, title, group N, group, uh, group inventory, market. We don't need those. Cost is not being filled up, so we don't really need it. Currency, we're going to keep price min, price max. And let's see, we do not need map handling so we're going to simply delete all of those columns all right so what we have left here is two columns that we can delete and we have our price min and our price max which are already in our format uh, if you remember this is the exact same format that we need SKU and price min price max but we need the user ID. So we're going to click here, insert a column. We're going to copy our user ID here. And we're going to highlight it, double click in the corner to copy it. Now, we can leave those price min at zero because the system will ignore them. So really, we can just go ahead at this point, save our file. And here, I'm going to remove the inventory lab. We can just browse for it. Select our App Eagle file, and we could just say overwrite all of my data, and click Process, and it will update all of your uh, all of your data that is in the file. So really, what is required is the user ID and the SKU, and then after that, you can add price min or price max, the cost if you want. And again, to find out what those fields are, you simply click on Export or Download My Data here, and you will get all of the fields that can be used. And again, user ID and SKU are just the required one. 
So I hope this will help you use this uh, system. If you have any files that are from an other system uh, that we have not mentioned, please feel free to send them to me and I will make a video on how to customize those to upload them. Thank you.